Hello and thanks for taking a look at my Fandroid HTC Evo Design 4G Boost Mobile how-to tutorial on how to root your phone. My name is New to Modding and this is going to pick up right after you have unlocked your bootloader. So please follow the instructions from the original post. And I can't stress this enough, please before you attempt to flash any custom ROM that you update your HTC system updates completely, completely. Because if you don't, you will not be able to update your HTC system updates again. So here we go. This is doing all that. And what I'm going to show you here is we're going to be pulling the ph44img.zip file that is your root recovery, root ROM. These will all be in my Dropbox below, but you're going to pull that onto your SD card, and so that way you have this ready. When I do try to load this, however, the first time, I get the main version fail, which I know some of you have had. And what you're going to be doing is using one of two programs below the miss tool or the set main version to low, uh, set main version low zip. And how you're going to do this is first by flashing clockwork mod onto your phone. And how we're going to do this is you're going to download the clockwork mod file below and you're going to unzip the IMG file, the image file, into your Android uh, folder and what you're going to do is you're going to shift and right click and open up a command prompt and the command prompt is going to be once you have your phone in USB mode for fast boot the command is fast boot flash recovery recovery dot IMG and what that is going to do is allow you to have clockwork mod on your phone. So right now, as you can see, I have already done this to set my main version back to 1.0.0.0.0. So we can actually flash the real zip. And as you can see, it says, do you want to update? Hold vo hit volume up and it will begin the update. And this means you are well on your way to having a rooted HTC Evo Design 4G. Mine just happens to be for Boost Mobile, but I am pretty sure that the Sprint works as well. Don't quote me on that. Again, um, I'm not responsible if you brick your phone or fuck up your phone. You cannot hold me personally responsible or anybody in these channels at all because we are just mainly here to help and we have all done these precautions and taken these steps before so any way we can help feel free to ask us I'd like to point out how fast this is going this is at plus 275 percent speed so here you go everything's done you hit power to reboot everything's gonna reboot through I got this at plus 275 percent speed so that way it'll uh, be a lot faster for you guys and you guys can pause this at whenever to wait for your phone to catch up to the right spot so that way we'll be working together now you're gonna see this screen for a little bit. This this is good. Again, this is gonna basically tell you that it's loading the new image, the new ROM that you just flashed onto it without Clockwork Mod. And what this is gonna do, you're gonna basically feel it or hear it vibrate in a couple minutes, and then it's gonna turn back on like it normally would. 
So please be patient. Please let the phone run its natural course. <coughs> I cannot stress that. So here we go. As you can see, everything's ready to go. Da -da -da. Just run through this screen real quick if you plan on flashing a custom ROM. Because you do not need any of this information. You have to repeat it back in anyways. So da da da, let's do all the updating, loading here, da da da, blah blah blah. Just trying to give you guys a better view of what's going on. So we're going to look for two programs here. If you got Super User and Titanium Backup, congratulations, you have officially rooted your HTC Evo Design 4G. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull over the Heavenly Divine Rebirth Final. Sorry, guys. And what are you going to do? is wait for this to load onto your SD card and I suggest you get the too fast kernel that will be also listed below from my Dropbox and I suggest you install that on here as well the same way that you will be installing that Heavenly Divine Rebirth final all through Clockwork Mod this is getting to the really easy step. I'm telling you guys, from here on out, it's all downhill. Once you have this phone rooted, everything else is going to be super, super easy to do. Also, and I encourage anybody that knows how to use torrents if you don't if you want an app on the app store on the google play store don't pay for it go find a free hacked version or cracked version on the internet there are plenty of ways to get around and piracy is one of them i absolutely recommend that you pirate any information that you can information should be free. So next we're going to get ROM manager here so that way we can just reboot from the phone into clockwork mod recovery. Let ROM manager download. Again, this is at 275% speed, so that way you guys can see all this just go by quickly as possible instead of sitting here and watching paint dry. This is for you guys. So we're going to reboot into recovery, which is right at the top. I'm letting you guys see all the, uh, the main screens. Here we go. Allow the super user to have access. And then you're going to see Clockwork Mods pop up if, uh, if everything's done right. It's, you're going to see this little screen here. And you're going to install zip from SD card. And then you're going to find the zip that you're looking for. This is the Heavenly Divine Rebirth Final Update. And as you can see, Aroma is the installer. This is awesome. It uses the up and down button and the power button. It is one of the easiest, yeah, look at me dumbass trying to hit it. Uh, this is one of the easiest installs I've ever come by. This is the second time I've modded a phone, um, both my other phones I've modded. So this is one of the easiest installs I've had to deal with as far as uh, putting a custom ROM on. So follow the directions, and then once it starts loading, be patient, and let the phone go all the way. It's going to go all the way, and it's going to score. You're going to love it. So just sit tight, 
and let the phone work through its installation process. And soon you'll be rewarded. Here's a little look at the bar, just to show you. This is where everything happens at the bottom on the install screen, so you'll see all this. Bricking phone. Yeah, don't listen to that. They're just playing a nasty joke on you guys. <laughs> so if, again, if you see though if you see super user and the titanium backup, you're doing good. Again, bricking phone, just kidding. Hit next, hit finish. Then you're gonna reboot. And once you reboot, this is what you're gonna see. This is all your hard work right here, right in front of you. The only downfall of this realm, I wish they had a sound to go with this opening because this opening's pretty kick ass. There could be like some metal opening doors or whatever. Because this just looks pretty cool. But make sure you get the too fast kernel because this helps speed up the phone. Let this phone do the upgrade as much as it needs to. It's got 181 programs it's got to update. Let it do its thing. And again, we are not liable if you break your phone or fuck up your phone. We don't want to hear you crying about a $225 paperweight. So we are not responsible. None of us. Zero. And uh, happy modding, have fun guys, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact either one of us in the forum, or you can contact me directly. Again, my name is new to modding. You can find me at the Fandroid Android forums. And this is for the HTC Evo Design 4G for Boost Mobile. Have fun guys, and um, let me know what you think.